I don't have any set formula for painting. Mm -hmm. uh, every painting is its own special challenge. I think that's why we all keep painting, is because they're all different. Sure. Sure. They're all individual. Are you surprised by how they turn out sometimes? Sometimes. <laughs> I'm dismayed on others. Everything I try doesn't work out. It's just a little scene from looking off Monroe Mountain. It's just about the Monroe Park up there. Oh. Up the canyon? Yeah. Just about when you start flattening out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. In the fall? Yes. That's beautiful. Kind of hate the show works in progress because they really don't look like anything except to me. <laughs> uh, that's what this is. It's just another work in progress. I basically got about the first layer of color on this model. And you have it sketched out in pencil first? Then? Yes. <clears throat> My preferred way of watercoloring is uh, I like to either work on 140 or 300 pound paper. And I advise anybody to work on the best paper you can get. Use the best paper and the best paints. Everything else you can uh, get by with. But use good paint, good paper. Uh, I like to soak mine first. I just soak it in the bathroom for about 20 minutes. And then I staple it down. I staple it to my board. So it doesn't move around on you, huh? Yeah, it doesn't buckle. Okay. Oh, okay. It yeah. stretches it. Yes. Okay. And Flattens. Then I, I cover the staples with tape because when you put the washes on, there'll be a little bit of water that'll puddle where the staples go in, and it dries slower than the rest of the painting, so it bleeds out and it makes it can make some ugly cauliflower things. So mm -hmm. I cover them with I see. tape first. Yeah, this is another Hippler's pond. I really like the reflections that those Russian olives have. Bull rushes kind of there. Yeah, there's a mixture of Russian and uh, cattail is what they were. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. I just barely finished this one a couple of days ago. I like to stick everything in a mat just to look at for a couple of days. Yeah. See if I need to do anything else to it. And where was that? That's just outside of Richfield on one of those little ponds. Going to Glenwood. Mm -hmm. Is that at sunset? Yes. Mm -hmm. Looking back towards the West Mountain. That's really nice. The, the colors are really I nice fish there a lot, so oh. I get, uh, this painting. It's on the Duncan Mountain. I actually spotted that. <coughs> Excuse me. I was uh, coming home with a load of coal. This is right against the coal mine road. The wind was blowing hard. And there were um, big puffs of snow that were blowing over the crest of the canyon. tried painting and I did it twice in fact and it says this is one of them. I don't use anything magic. I do like this particular palette though because of the big wells. I like to be able to dip a one inch brush in there and it has a lip on it. Uh, this serves as a mixing area. It's got a lip right there to keep dirty color from running back mm -hmm. into your paints. Mm -hmm. And the lid also serves as a separate mixing area, too. It's made out of plastic, but it's been real durable. This one's about 12 years old. Goes with me everywhere I go. You don't necessarily take a picture first, huh? Yes, that's right. In fact, we go out as a group once a week if we can. For like a plein air kind mm -hmm. of a thing? with different spots and everything yeah. move around. Yeah, and I just got a, an array of 
flat and round brushes. Most of them are quite 